So the UK core quantitative, um, really the, the uh, sort of goal of that consists of two parts. One of them is to um, apply mathematics to real world situations. The other part is to be able to evaluate arguments um, that contain some kind of mathematics in them and then to effectively communicate mathematics in some form. Uh, the class is contemporary mathematics, but it's uh, an emphasis less on mathematics as students traditionally think of math, algebra, solving for x. Um, we don't really actually do much in terms of um, complicated equations and solving things that students are used to, but we do deal with mathematical ideas. We analyze. Math 111 is, I like to affectionately refer to it as math for poets in that the topics that we cover tend to have a more real world, like heavy real world application. So like this semester we did, we started off by doing voting theory. So we talked about all the different voting methods and the fairness of them. And we realized at the end that there is no perfect voting method. There's one that's always, if you're trying to work with more than three people, it's always got some problem. It's not topics that you typically cover in undergraduate level, except for only for math majors, but I think it's kind of interesting because it's not the real heavy algebra, which a lot of students are very averse to. Um, so I usually define the classes. It's a survey of basic mathematical concepts. Um, and it's a very free range class in the sense of, as an instructor, I get a lot of freedom with it. I mean, really the class in terms of how we, we choose the topics very, very much a, a application base. We're talking about modern topics. I feel like the students really, really kind of like that about the class. They're like, um, I could see how you could use this kind of thing. And because they're really interested in the applications of how it works. I think too often, like calculus and algebra, the students often say, how am I going to use this? And I feel like in Math 111, it's constantly, this is how you would use this. This is how you would use this. This is how you would use this. The students, I think, generally are very receptive to the course as it's structured. As it's, structured. It's, it's made to be a very forgiving course. I mean, we want to expose them to, to advanced ideas, and we sort of acknowledge that the mathematical process isn't always clean. It isn't always being able to put a box around a solution. And so that's really nice that, to help them see that, yeah, you can use certain mathematical concepts, and it doesn't have to be really hard math, necessarily. Uh, I like to say to students, you, you should be aware of things. I mean, this is just part of the human experience. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it on a daily basis like I do. But if you're a writer or you want to have ideas or know how things work, I mean, this is, this is something that you should be aware of.